guys, Amy here. Um, today I wanna show you how to easily plate onto some everyday hardware. Um, here's a couple screws um, that we've done. This is one that was a zinc plated steel. Um, zinc cannot be plated directly onto without being removed first or with other proper steps. And here is just a sample of a screw um, that we will show you how to properly plate. What we've used is we have a 17% hydrochloric solution and this solution will remove that zinc plating. As you see it's bubbling doing its process and we will wait uh, probably just a couple minutes that should strip off. All right so as you notice this part is just slowing down the bubbling. This is the indicator that this solution is about done doing its job. Um, we often get asked where you can find the hydrochloric acid. Um, there is a solution that you can find. Um, it's called the muriatic acid. Muriatic acid. Home Depot, Ace Hardware. Home Depot, Ace Hardware are common places to locate it. The important thing is that it is diluted and you are going to add the acid to the distilled water. It's very important that you add it properly, otherwise the chemicals can react. All right guys, so I wanna show you this screw. So this is one that we went through the process of removing the zinc plating. Um, we thought we'd get ahead of it and just strip all the zinc off first and then begin the plating process. Um, as you can see, there's already rust building up in those threads and in the head. Um, it's very important that when you do go to plate onto these parts that you're able to go straight from the hydrochloric acid into some distilled water and then begin your electric clean. Um, again, these parts started to rust within just minutes of sitting out and oxidizing. All right guys, so we're just checking, making sure that this part is ready to begin the plating process. Um, obviously, take your safety measures, make sure you're wearing your gloves and safety goggles and that you have a tool to pull out the part from the solution. Um, once we've deemed that it is ready, we will probably put it through two different rinses before we begin the electric clean process. If you do get rust on it. You can easily remove it in a matter of just seconds with the quick hydrochloric dip. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but that cleaned up right away. So again, it's just important, just do each piece or the pieces that you're able to go from one step to the next. If you're gonna be plating a bunch of these parts, I would strongly suggest having a rack that will hold, hold them. Today, we're just gonna show you piece by piece. All right, guys. So one other thing I wanted to point out with the rust on this steel part. Um, steel, mild steel is very common in the gun industry and we're seeing a lot of customers doing plating onto it. Um, steel, just like stainless steel will follow a different activating solution, which will be our electric clean and then you can use a tri-valve gold strike or what isn't here at this time is our woods nickel strike um, however we strongly recommend with this steel and mild steel that you follow the electric clean the copper strike solution our bright nickel and then going into the bright gold that's going to give you more of a result um, and keep that still from rusting underneath the gold with time. All right, so I've just gone through my second rinse. We're going to be using our ProLab station today. This is our ElectroClean tower. We're gonna connect our alligator clip. You can see all the bubbling in there. That's just the ElectroClean doing its job. We'll leave it in here for about 30 seconds, possibly a little bit longer, but 30 seconds should be good. All right, so now we are just rinsed out of our electric clean and we are going to go into our copper strike solution. This is one that not many of our customers are familiar with, but it works great. 
The important thing with our copper strike is it runs on a very low voltage. So if you want to make sure you either have its own power tower um, and power supply, or just make sure that you turn that voltage way down. So Terry, what are some of the benefits of our copper strike? The copper strike gives you a very good adherent layer to steel or mild steel items. And it also, you can visually check to make sure you've got a solid continuous layer of copper that you can plate onto with your nickel. So we usually do the copper strike maybe about 30 seconds. The copper strike has also been used in the industry for people looking for like a rose gold. Um, however, copper does corrode, so if you do use it for more of that rose gold look, you need to put a clear coat over the top. All right, so now we're going to go into our nickel. We just came out of the copper strike solution. And our nickel solution has air agitation. And we wanna make sure we're up to about 2.3 volts. And the nicker solution will be in there for about two minutes. We wanna have a nice heavy coat on before applying our gold. All right, so we have our part has been plating for two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, so you can see what a beautiful nickel coat we've got there. Now you could leave the part at that point, or what we're gonna do today is we are gonna sh go into our gold solution. Okay. Right now it's uh, very popular in the home industry, bathroom fixtures, door fixtures with the gold plating. So now we'll leave it in our gold tank for about two minutes. All right, guys, so our two minute mark is up. I am going to go ahead and take the part out of our gold solution. We'll put it through our first rinse, and right there you can see how bright and shiny that is. Can you turn that off? All right, go into our second. Beautiful. All right, guys, check us out for more YouTube videos at Gold Plating Services. Look for the Golden Globe.